good morning if anybody's here. <laughs> I just realized I'm live and I'm not talking. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's here yet or not. So somebody's messaging me. Let me check my friend. Anywho, so um, I saw somebody make some flowers the other day. These came out of a, a haul, their fabric that I did the other day. Oh, while I'm, while I'm here, I got a question for you guys, too. This is going to be hold my paint. And I have cut this brush up so that it's all wonky up in here. And I'm trying to cut it some more. I want it. These, these are some cheap makeup brushes that I've had a long time, and I brought them in here to craft with. And, uh, yeah, just want in here, let me get some of this cut. So, anyway, whoever's here, nobody's here. Just me by myself. Oh, well, I'll just craft my little heart out. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> here we go. Okay. I think that'll be good. We'll see. Anyway, so I saw somebody make some flowers the other day, and they were just painting circles, and then they used their gel pens and gel markers. Well, yesterday I got in a small Timu haul that I didn't share with y'all. Sorry. Anyway, I had it put up before I realized what all I had. But it had a set of flower dies, and I pulled them all apart. And this morning I got up, and I painted some um, watercolors on some cardstock and yeah away we go we have a bunch of little flowers a bunch so if you're wondering what we're doing what i'm doing i'm separating them out right now into their sizes and I'm going to add details to them. Uh, I have a bunch of these little bitty ones. They probably won't get much more than a few dots. But anyway, I'm going to paint uh, details in them. Or draw details in them with paint. And with my uh, gel pens. So we shall see how this turns out. Anyway, hey Jude. How you are? How's the pastel going? The pastel uh, jelly printing going. Jude is uh, using her pan pastels on her gel plate. I think that's cool. I don't have no pan pastels, but I, I have some... Uh, I have lots of oil pastels, so a lot. In fact, yesterday I bought a grab bag that had another big long ones, and these are Daler and Rowney, or Rowney, however you say that, and uh, I like them. So I like playing with gel uh, with oil pastels. Those are not water soluble ones. I did buy some water soluble ones just recently that are oil pastels that you can activate with water and they're in a in a thing i think i showed them to y'all online they came from timu <laughs> that's the popular phrase these days they came from timu <laughs> there we go guys i got flowers out the wazoo i shall be unfly i will be flower poor these little bitty ones are so cute so Anyway, hi, anybody else who is lurking, just say howdy, howdy. And yes, if you're lurking and you can't talk to me, it's because you do need to subscribe. See, I tore the edges on that one, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And we're going to start with these big ones, okay? I'm going to start with these big ones. And we're going to use some of this. We're just going to see what we can do here. Okay, we just want a lot 
I don't want it to get dark. I may have to end there. So this is going to be our center. Oh, yes. That's what I want. Except for, can you see that? Yeah. So you move back to watercolor. <laughs> so now, uh, then we'll let those dry. We'll let these dry. Have the fan going behind me. Now, I have some that is going to be needing some darker color. So we got out this coffee colored. Uh, it's called Rich Espresso. And it's actually in a metallic color. So we want to there. There we go. What you think? Too fine? Does it need to be way more? I actually like it really well. Let's see if we get a bit more on my brush with this yellow. I think we need the dark. Not sure about that one. <laughs> need a little more. I really thought this yellow would show up a little better. Let's see. Mm, I like that. Like that. Hi, Cheyenne. How are you? Oh, Cheyenne, I'm glad you're here because I wanted to tell you I went to that store yesterday that had the uh, small folders, and at that point, they did not have any uh, yesterday, but they get stuff in every day. They get in things. And so I will just check back next time. They have a bunch of colored folders, but they did not have any little bitty ones like those small ones like we were doing so now i'm not done with these i will add some more things to them i'm just doing my centers first so they can dry and i'm only going to do the paint centers on these big ones i will use uh i will use my markers and my pens and stuff on the little ones so But I got I bought twenty five dollars worth, so that would be four boxes. It would be twenty four for you. So, okay, that would be four hundred of them because they do come a hundred to the box. I thought they came fifty to the box, but when I boxed them up for you and. Robin the other day when I unboxed them and put them in the envelopes they were it was a uh, hundred so anyhow these should dry fast no more paint than I'm adding so I probably have a hundred flowers here kind of got overboard didn't I these are easier than cutting cardboard yeah I found something that was cool, but I only found one of them, one box of them, and uh, I did not find any more of them. But uh, uh, I'm going to keep these for for uh, uh, what I do. It's called a translucent document wallet, and it's a hard plastic, and you can put stuff down in it. And so I will probably be putting uh, some of my artwork in it. In fact, let's just see if this if this page here will fit in it. It may not. Nope, it's too big. I have to trim it down to get it in there. But anyway, there's room to trim it. How much would I need to trim off? Otherwise, it would be good. 
anyhow, I thought these were really cool. Anyway, I gave a really good price for these too. I think they were, there was 12 in the box and I think, I think I gave $2 for the box. I'd have to look at my receipt, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And guys, I love my little mini guillotine here. Because you can just fit in this width of a paper. Just, I mean, it just barely fits, but it will fit. But you've got to finagle it around a little bit. There. And let's see if we can trim off a little bit over here. So, anyway, um, this is a Fiskars. I got it at... Where did I, I got it at Michael's. So, and if I trim that, I'm going to trim off my 23, but I can always resign that, can I? Let's see. I don't want to get that edge of that rose off. Let's just see what we can do there. There we go. Now, let's see if it'll fit. Uh oh. So, anyway, I, I ordered. What did I order? Last night I ordered something from Timu. I can't remember what it was now. Still a little long, but it will go. That that'll be nice to keep my little paintings in. So since Yeah, I like that. That'll be good. Anyway, I think I got ended up with 12 of them. So And then what else did I Oh, let me show you now. None of this is going to be for sale because guess who's selfish? <laughs> Look at these. Uh, they're the Astro Bright cardstock. And this is the one that has the cream, the bright white, the gray, and the black in it. And I got two of this. And they're $2. They I paid $2 a piece for them. And they're $14.78 at Walmart. And then I got one of the Astro Bright Neons. And it's got more. I think it's got more paper in it. The Astro Bright Neons. And I paid $2 for it too. And these were $19 on Walmart.com. So, and um, this is made by Nina. Um, which is, I've been using this cardstock, this brand cardstock for years. In fact, let's see what, what did I just do with that? I just pulled out, I think I threw it away. I just pulled out the fact that, that, uh, uh, that's the card, the label to my white that is that same brand. So anyway, you know, I really, what other color do you think I could put in this? I'm not liking, I'm not just i like the yellow on certain things but i don't just love it i don't want to do watercolors in that or gouache hmm. i'm looking for another color let's see what about this color right here I have a big drawer of paint right right under right under here so red actually this ain't red but it ain't far from red it's like a what's it called red oxide is actually actually it is red isn't it but it looks like a burnt sienna color Let's see what it looks like on this one. This is one that can be thrown away if I absolutely don't like it. What do y'all think? I actually do like that really well. That's messed up. So that one's kind of a, let's see. Let's just add a little bit of that to that. There, I like that. Yeah, I like that. How is your husband doing after he had surgery? Let's see 
if I miss anybody else. Are these going on cards? They're going wherever I want to use them. They may go on clusters. They may go on... They may go anywhere. I looked at green while I was in the drawer. Oh, I can relate to that. Dave has fallen a lot. In fact, we go Friday, we go to the doctor after his uh, last fall. His last fall, he broke a bone in his leg and he pulled, well, he tore the muscle in the other leg. And so uh, they told him he had to stay off it as, as much as possible. And so I take him to the doctor on Friday and, uh, Hopefully, they're, oh, there's Jared. They're talking about doing uh, a bone density test because they feel like that his meds are causing his bones to uh, get weak. So, just what we need. <laughs> Especially that one medicine. It, it's very important for him to take. So, thanks. You get that done for me? What well, took you so long? Because I went and bought this mouse pad and he got a free burger. I had a free burger for my birthday. Okay. It would be great. What? I drank some tonic for lunch. Okay. That sounds like a plan, Jared. How about, let's see. You think they're making for dinner tonight? Uh uh. Pulled pork. Yum, yum. Who's doing it? I have no idea. They didn't say? Mm hmm. I guess I didn't catch it pork sandwiches that sounds good that that's funny because that's your favorite one of your favorite things so today's jared's birthday he is 30 years old he don't look 30 and i won't say that he don't act 30 he does act like a little old man sometimes okay here we go just order order them here jared and you can go get them what, that's, or what? Uh, yeah, 44s is fine. So, anyway, did I hand out? No, I used my I used my um, die cut my die cut machine. Uh, I have a cuddle bug. Now I have a cricket, and let me see if I can find any of them. I recently cut out a bunch of flowers with my cricket. Oh, I know where. Hold on. I know where some are in these. I recently cut out a bunch of flowers with my Cricut. These are the these are the um, those packs that I did. Uh, the Cindy bags. I still have a few of them left. Anyway, so far everybody that's gotten them has loved them. So I cut out these here with my Cricut out of patterned paper. Just pattern scrapbook paper, and I cut these with my Cricut. Uh, I can cut when I do them. I can cut like 24 at a time. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this was one of my Cindy bags. Oh, so, I think I ended up with only two of them left. So anyhow. Put some paint on the cricket ones. Jude says happy birthday, Jared. My friend Jude says happy birthday. You need to go to my Facebook page. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't, just tell me and I'll I'll show it to you. But lots of people have wished you a happy birthday on my Facebook page. Miss Gina says, how did our babies get this old? Because Justin's birthday is in just his birthday is like in July a month after yours but you might not ought to go because I posted a bunch of funny pictures of you
posted pictures of y'all dripping wet and freezing. They got baptized like in, I think it was like in February, and they got baptized in a baptistry, but the heater didn't get turned on on the baptistry, and so they were just like, the one picture you can tell they're just shivering. So anyway, put some paint on the cricket ones. Well, those are in the what the Cindy bought in the Cindy bags. The only ones that I have left are in the Cindy bags, and uh, they are for um, there. Okay, that's the last of the bigger ones. These are a little bit bigger, but we're going to do them different. So uh, we'll let this, and this is just a makeup brush. So I was trying to think about what I ordered from Timu last night. No orders. Oh, I know what I ordered. I ordered some paint brushes. I ordered some, uh, like I need more paint brushes. If y'all could see my, my bucket over here, I, I'm just like paintbrush poor. But these were some rounded flat ones, and I ordered them. And what else did I order? Um, I ordered a travel, travel, um, watercolor pad not that i'll probably ever travel in watercolor but anyway i thought it was cute i saw somebody haul it and i was like i want one of those <laughs> so i ordered one and i ordered paintbrushes i ordered four things can't think what all i ordered and i don't keep timu on my i don't keep timu on my phone which jared just took off with my phone anyway going to pick up sonic drinks therein is i would be rich if it wasn't for sonic drinks <laughs> nah it'd be something else if it if it wasn't for timu and sonic drinks maybe so it'd be something else so so i was trying to think about what i got yesterday from timu oh i got one of these a dumpling maker so that's what you were thinking, paint brushes. Uh, I got a dumpling maker. I got uh, some eyebrow shavers. I got that set of um, set of die cuts. I think that one don't oh that don't fit because there's a, something in the way. A set of die cuts. Uh, did I get markers? No, I didn't get markers. Didn't get no crayons or anything like that. I don't know. It's it's bad when you don't even know what you get in the mail. Well, I first of all, we came from thrifting. We thrifted yesterday. And I want to ask what something is. I don't know what. I bought at savers i know a lot of people don't have a savers but at savers they do these um craft bags they mix up a lot of stuff in a craft bag and that's where i got that um oil pastels anyway these were in one of the craft bags and i don't know what they are they're like rubber bands i, I was like why is there vacuum cleaner belts in here but they may be headbands. They're like a rubber band. There's a black dotted one, uh, a textured one. Do y'all think they're headbands? You love savers? Book bands. Oh, book bands. Huh. Anyway, well, I love this little case that they're in. And I'm going to keep the little case. And I'm just going to throw this in the craft sale bucket. <laughs> so, I don't need no book bands. I don't read, I don't read enough to anymore to uh need a book band so anyway oh i did here i did get something is this the one i got i've never bought any of the timu jewelry okay and so i got two pairs of earrings i got these little moonstone earrings which they are not sterling they were not advertised to be sterling they were like 78 cents and then i got these in bronze that have little hummingbirds in them and they're cute. They're not Morphos, but they're they're really cute. 
and they're lever back and I really like those. So anyway, those 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 were in my two minutes. Oh, and I got one of these. If you have not, I got one of these. Have you seen these? It's like an ink pen and it's a cutter. It has a little bitty blade. And I fussy cut a real fussy flower and I would show it to you only it was in that set of stuff that just went out my uh it was in I put it in a, a happy mail thing so let's see about this not sure if this is what I want to do or not let's see Can y'all see that? What do you think? Let's see. I have. Where is it? I keep it upside down because. So I can see it. <laughs> I keep it upside down so I can see it. And now I can't see it. Huh. Where is it? It's in here, I know. I didn't put it over yonder. This right here is one of my issues. I have so many stinking pins and things. And what I'm looking for right now is a white gel pen. And I have, I have three of them. But I have one that I know for a fact works really, really good. And I can't find it. Crap. Did I put it in here? Maybe I did. Don't see it. Don't see it. Oh, I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. Oh, these are some of those water-soluble pastels that I got. Here it is, right here. There it is. I had it out. This is my tub that I keep all my markers and stuff in. Okay, let's see. What? And those are fun. Those are real fun. Let's see what some little white dingly dangly look like. So. Okay, let's see that one. What you think? I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Now, let's see. This is a bright yellow gel pen. Let's see if it will show up on this. No, it don't show up on that one. Let's see what. Maybe this one will. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 
Jared's the one that gave Rasky the nickname Little Dude. That's what he calls him, Miss Little Dude. Thanks, brother. Okay. What do we think about the pink one? You like the pink one? I like the pink one. I think the pink one is cool. Let's see, is that gel? Ink Joy gel. Yeah, that one's a gel. This one right here ought to be real cool. For the what? Hey, Jared. What? There are some cherries in the refrigerator. Will you bring the jar in here so I can add a little bit extra cherries to my drink? Because I like my drink really cherry, cherry. There, that one's purple. I kind of don't like this right here, what I did here, but it's okay. So, thank you, brother. Oh yeah. Oh, you got tea. Mm -hmm. The probably they just made the tea there. That too. And it was probably still warm here. There you go. Thank you, brother. Oh yeah, that's good and Terry Terry. Mm hmm So Oh. I think I could live off of this one is an ink joy. This one is green. Let's see. I don't know that I want green on that one. Let's do green on this one that has a quite a bit of yellow in it. And I didn't put anything on the end of that. I like those. I think those are turning real out really cute. I want to see what... Let's see if I can find one. I want to see what a black... What some black marks will look like. Let's just do some black dots under these silver. What you cooking, brother? There's chicken patties. Yes, I bought french fries. They're, I ordered tater tots, but they were out. And I had do not do not substitute on them because they like to try to substitute the really expensive ones on those. Yes, please. That would be awesome. What do you think about the black? Think it's too much? Now, I don't want to do this with black, but let's see about this purple one. I was going to say, we had a brand new thing of mustard. There. I like that. Let's use. I got any color, nearly any color gel pen you want, except for I don't have a brown one. I don't know if they make a brown one.
Uh, I got white. I don't. I don't think I have a black gel pen, but I have black fine point pens. That one's kind of sloppy looking, but it's cute. They're cute. I like them. I like them. I like them. I just can sit here y'all and do this all day long i mean like this is just like my jam this is but i wanted to come on and just some of those little white ones. Oh, I'm really liking this one. What do y'all think? Can you see that? I like that one with the with the fuchsia colored gel pen and the white over the metallic brown. I like that one. Huh? Let's do some of these little bitty ones. Okay, these little bitty ones, they'll be put, they'll be put in like to go on places where I use my little words and stuff. And we're not going to do a lot on them. We're going to just probably do little dots on them. We might go around the outer edges, but I've got bunches of them. So we're going to lay them out and do them assembly style, huh? Let's see if I can pull. There you go. Just a little bit. Where y'all can see a little bit better. Is that better? Do I need to be closer? I could bring it down one. Let's see. That one's so light. You can barely tell that it's lavender or purple paint. So I think that's the last of the little bitty bitty ones. So I think think you know what let's go just think I think I don't know if you can see it that <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you guys okay? <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. I smacked y'all down. Hold on. Let's, there we go. Now I was trying to grab my little bitty tweezers so I could hold this where y'all can see it. Hi, Kristen. Can you see that? I think just the dots. I put little dashes around it, but I really think just the dots is all we need on these. So we'll do the dark dots, dark dots on the, on the really light ones, and then the white dots on the darker ones.
So, Kristen, what I did was I watercolored a bunch of paper. Well, I actually water watercolored three pieces of, that's a darker one, three pieces of cardstock. And then, um, that one's really light. And then I used my die cuts that I got from Timu and cut out these all these little flowers. I have the, it's a nesting flower die cut. And so now that after they're done, this is what we're working with. Now we're decorating the inside of them. Let's see. There. There. Let's see how that works. You know what? Let's see what we got here. The mail run. Capital One, they want they want us to apply for a credit card. And this is what we do to Capital One. Packages. They get ripped up and thrown in the trash can, and then we pour glue in on top of them. Oh, we were going to, did we pull one of those out? Yeah, we're going to pull this one out right here. Now, these are acrylic. Oh, this, all I'm doing is just, Literally just touching, touching it. Let's see. And that's all I'm going to do. And when I, when I do these through the gel plate, on the gel plate, I just arrange the whole thing, all of the dies on the paper, and cut it all at once. And then... I go back in and move these little ones around so that I can, uh, oh, don't do that, Cindy, don't do that. That goes in there. Uh, that goes in there. <laughs> so that I can, uh, oh, this is a micro. Then I put the little ones in on scrap paper. Look. So this is how I do it. I arrange them like this and then run it through and I stack the paper and cut two at once. So anyhow, so we're okay. Those little ones are done. Where did that go? I told y'all I like this thing. <laughs> there we go. These are done. So we will have a, a thing full of flowers. So let's go in and let's just lay out. These are the ones we added paint to. They're in there eating. Let's see. Here is here. Let's see what this does. Not like, don't like that one. Let's see what this one does. This one is uh, a, y'all see, a Sarasa. These are dollar, these come from Dollar Tree, but they are, um, I do like that a little better. Let's give it some legs, some things. some dots out here and let's put in some what did that there it is that one don't want to show up too well that one's not very pretty let's see what this one here does for us Oh, 
anyway. Oh yeah. Okay. I like that. Very well. Let's see, this yellow only is really will show up on these lighter colors. <gasps> I've done that way too long. See if we can get a dot on the end of those. Sure, we can. Now, whoops, there. A dot on that one. Now we're going to do this. I'll add just a few. Let's see, a few little black things in here. There we go. I like that one. Let's see, we are still in that. This one right here. Yes. This one has a brush tip on it. I love this pen. It's blue. And I think I'm going to do squiggly lines around it with this. Like that, and then we will give this one some more yellow. What color? <gasps> we got a, we got a, yeah. We got a, oh, this one hasn't, this one hasn't had the color down on it yet. Come on, color. These are Timu. These are from Timu. There it goes. This is brown. So we're going to just lay us in some little brown dots. Get us some little brown dots on top of our little blue stems here. There we go. I do like that. I think that's cute. So, now that we have this brown one out, let's just go ahead and let's just make a whole bunch of little brown dots here. And we're going to go. Oh, sound effects, guys. Do y'all do sound effects with your when you're doing art? <laughs> that is funny. Uh, that is fun. I like that. I like that. Cute. There. 
Here we go. I always talk to myself out loud. I even answer myself. Some of the best conversations I have is with myself. <laughs> Did y'all not realize that? <laughs> okay, now these don't have anything in them, in the middle of them. Like, the, I didn't do any paint in the middle of them. And so we're just going to just see what happens. See what we end up adding to these. Sorry. There. That's cute. Just the little blue one. Sorry, my finger was in the way. I liked it. Let's get all these big ones done and out of the way. We were laying them out so we could do them. Let's see. I won't show y'all, but my mom told me, because I'm worried about this getting infected, this burn. Uh, and so, <laughs> that's all I need for it to get infected and then to tell me, uh, we can't do your thing because you have an infection on your finger. Anyway, so she told me to cut away the skin since the blister had already popped. Thanks to help from you know who. Anyway, so I cut away the skin, and then I'm putting triple antibiotic and silver sulfabalin on it. So, anyway. But uh, I've got it covered up right now since I'm working with paints and stuff. I wanted to make sure I didn't get any kind of paint in it. So, anyway. We'll just do that, and then we'll come back with this, and do some, nope, not that, this one here, is that, yep, that's why. Let's just do this one, since it's, I know it's been used before. back in make some white dots up here white dots here try not to get them so crazy uniform Cindy things in nature don't grow in straight lines unless you plant it in straight lines kind of like that one with the white dots I do like that did I? Yeah. I did. Where did I put it? I don't see it. But I know I did. Did I put it in here where it don't go? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> because everybody loves gold. Let's see what some gold looks like in one of them. So, here we go. Now, I have to say, I've never seen gold in a flower in real life, but, you know. I like it. Now, let's try. Oops. I have one that's a little bit different. This one is, what does it say? Mm. This is a zebra, a zebra, a zebra, zebra, doodler, a zebra doodler. Oh, I wanted to show y'all something that I hadn't showed y'all. This is a... Uh, I've showed Jude. I don't think I've showed y'all. Let 
Jude has to see everything I buy because uh, she's my friend and she keeps being my friend, even though I probably just bug the crap out of her, showing her every little thing I buy. So, anyway. So, I got a black doodle book. I haven't even opened it. I just got it, I don't know, the other day. I don't know what day. But I got it. Can you just leave these frozen toaster oven when you're done? Are they done? They should be. Uh, no, I, I want mine. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, so it's it's black with black papers. And then I will use my pencils and do stuff like this in it. Stuff like this in it. And then I will, let's see, maybe I will take my white one and go, oh, like that. I think I'm going to need to order me some more gel pens to keep. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I have a drawer full of gel pens up here. <laughs> I got to go through all of my, all of my boxes that have pens and stuff in them. I have pens everywhere, y'all gel pens. Let's see. I don't think this one's going to show up on it. No. That don't show up. What about this one? Will this one show up? Not really. This one will. Yes, indeedy. Anyway. This will be perfect for me to sit and do while I'm watching TV in my room. Catch up, please. And I want, uh, I want uh, Tony's on them. Anyway, isn't that fun? So we will play with that. Okay, here we go. Let us do some more. I like to give some of them really long, stemmy things. Make them go like that. Oh, I hope you didn't sneeze on my plate. No. Thank you. <laughs> that would that would upset me. French fry, anybody? Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we have. Oh my gosh, I've already been here nearly an hour. How do I do that, y'all? How do I do that? <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty green one. We'll mix it in with these other greens. Other green stems. Now let's do some. That's a gel pen. I think it's a metallic gel pen too, now that I look at it. There we go. There we go. Anyway, I could sit and do this all day long, and I probably will since I have all these flowers to get done. But I just wanted to share what I was doing with you guys, what I'm playing with. So, anyhow, I tell you what I've been thinking about doing. I am a night owl. I love to stay up late at night. And Dave likes to go to bed about 10 o'clock. Anyway, I like to stay up late at night. I've been thinking about just coming online and doing it on StreamYard so that if anybody wanted to come on with me that they could and we'd just, we'd just craft and chat. Or we'd just craft. We wouldn't even have to chat, you know. <laughs> there we go. So, 
if you painted red ones and purple ones, they would look like puppies. These, if I painted some red and purple, like maybe that. Now, don't poppies don't poppies have brown centers with the yellow in them also? So we got a good brown center. Now where's our yellow pen? Not there. That's white. It goes back in there. But there's a yellow one floating around here somewhere, isn't there? A good yellow one. Not that. That's the brown one. That goes in there. Am I overlooking it? Did I put it in here? Highly probable. Hmm. There it is. I did. No black. Well. I'll have to look at a poppy. Somebody's ding dong in me, Jude. She's send, probably sending me a picture. Yes. Okay. So, let's do this because I know that poppies can be orange and red. Let's do this one. And I want to see. Let's do a test run on this color because I want to see what color this color shows up. Oh, it don't show up at all. It's what's wrong with you? Well, that softens. Now that is a good red right there. And I think we can do what I'm thinking. Okay. Let's do this. But first, let me see what this red right here is. <gasps> That's a good one, too. That's a... This is a test flower. Okay. These two are good. Now, let's just... Let's just go... Just like that. And then let's just go... Around it again. Around it again. There we go. And then we've got this red glittery one. Oh, that's pretty. And we'll just go around it again. And now we'll eat a french fry.
And we're going to give it little hairy legs right here. Just little bitty hairy legs. What about that, dude? I like that one. Somebody's lurking. Oh. Huh. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Jared and Dave are watching wrestling together, and I love listening to them because they laugh and have fun. And it reminds me so much of when before Dave got sick because they did a lot of going to movies together, a lot of just stuff like that. And so there you go. Like that. She gave herself away. <laughs> Next time I'll have to uh, do some paint, some that's just red, some paper that's just red. This is just, I just did this for mixes. There we go. But that's, that's cute. Those are cute little flowers. Anyway. All y'all yachting free. Do y'all remember that? Did y'all play that? Ollie, Ollie, Oxen Free. Let's see. Mmm, let's try this. Is that? Yes, that's what I think. There are eight people here. Hi, eight people. Say hi. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be here long enough for you to say hi. Ooh, that is a good red for a poppy. Hmm. Are you still here, Kristen? What did you say you're supposed to do? Go keep going in the same direction, right? So that you don't see your brush strokes. Is that what you said? So you don't see your, not brush strokes, but pencil strokes. What did she say? Yep, it helps.
I don't want to get pain all over me. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm worried about it. I probably already do have it all over me, but this is acrylic marker. I don't know if it's permanent or washable. There we go. There's that. Now. Oh, those are paint markers. Acrylic paint markers. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm holding this down so I can, um, so the paint will come down in it. Okay. Well, there are some. Come on, you. Who told me not to do this? Do as I say, not as I do. I believe it was Kristen the other day. Not to shake a pen that was a marker that's open. There you would go. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Now we're trying not to completely cover up are there's some yellow in here and when i look at a picture of a poppy online there is a little yellow in the middle of it there you go i believe that's as poppy as i can get hold on what do I do with this? I got some pink here. Step four. I'm looking for right this color right here. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Jean. Sharon, I just sent, just mailed your um, swap today. I just mailed it today. Anyway, um, you're my swap partner on the clusters, and Jared just took it to the, he just took it to the mailbox. So, I'm just adding in, and I'll, I'll, after I was so careful not to get marker all over my fingers while I go, we're going to go through and just add that orange in there. Because when I think of poppies, I always think of that about them having some orange in them. Did anybody, was there anybody eating cold french fries? I'm eating, they're not cold. He just took them out of the, out of the air fryer. There we go. So, I just colored over that. That's cool. So, let me, I've got a stack of markers here. Let me just pull back my markers. 
and put these all go back in this and show y'all what I'm actually working on. So I went through this morning and painted a bunch of watercolors. Just I just slopped them on. I used um, my new Marie's watercolors and I slopped them on to cardstock. And then I ran them through my die cut machine with um, alternating sizes of flowers. I have this flower that is like a nesting set and uh, it alternates colors. And I ran it through that and I cut out a bunch. And now I'm decorating the middles of them. Um, I have done all of these and actually all of the ones here. Let's see. I've done all of these. And I have a little container here. What you say? Oh, you love, oh, that, yes, I will love those. So, anyway, Jude, you saw it. You saw the one that I sent her that said, hello, darling. She got that one. So, anyway, um, and the, my colors are probably pretty muted, too. So, anyhow, so I'm just doing up a bunch of flowers, and uh, they will be for, to go in happy mail they will go oh and i sent happy mail to you so uh <laughs> the um anyhow they will just go uh, they'll go in all kinds of things so anyway i still i'm sitting here looking at these little these little kitties and puppies that i stamped on those tickets are they not so cute? I just love those stamps. So anyway, so I'm just I was doing all of that. I'm filling up the inside of the, the flowers. So that's what we're doing. We're just marking up the inside of flowers. And yes, I've been here over an hour. But that's okay. I don't have nothing else to do today. So I did want to show y'all something that I got. So, um... I got a pack, you know, I talked about buying these packages, these craft packages from Savers. I got a, a, a it had, I feel like there's one more, but maybe not. It had five sticks of this raw stick glue. And uh, I really like the white. I'm still not sure about the gel. Uh, because I glued it and then it re you can move it. So this is what it looks like. I'm not sure about it. Let's see. Too, too big. But let's go in here and get one of these uh, teeny tiny ones. There we go. You there got those teeny tiny ones mm, that's almost too big for those but anyway get one of these teeny tiny ones we'll do that little cute one there Oops. and I do really like this but that that blue one it um I glued two pieces of paper together and they were slick book pages they came out of one of my children's dictionaries and uh yeah and they when i could still still uh pull it out okay timu sells a die cutting machine um i think somebody told me it's like right around 32 dollars i don't know um April, my friend April bought a cuddle bug. I use a cuddle bug. This is the original cuddle bug. And I use it. And it will pretty much use any dies that I want to use with it. Including if I if I do my stack right, I can even use the great big Sizzix dies on them. 
but I'm not a real fan of their big, great big dyes. Anyway, but uh, my friend April, uh, Bougie Bear Vintage is her YouTube name, Bougie Bear Vintage. She bought a, a cuddle bug on um, eBay and got it real reasonable. And I went over and looked, and they do have some pretty reasonable prices. What happens, though, on eBay is shipping gets to you, the shipping cost. And see, on on a, on Timu, you get free shipping all the time on Timu. So, you know, there we go. I think I dropped something. I don't know what it was. But, yeah, I use that. And I do have a Cricut, Timu, yeah, T-E-M, T-E-M-U dot com. I do have, I actually have two Cricuts and a Silhouette that are electronic cutting machines. And I don't use them very much. I did cut out, I showed earlier, I cut out some um, flowers that went in the, um, went in these packages that I made that I sold last week in the craft sale. I cut out these flowers on the on my Cricut and I was able to use the design studio and put 24 on a page and cut them like that. But um, I need a new blade for my Cricut because it's not cutting very well. I may ought to try my silhouette, see if I can get it on it. So anyway, but yeah. So I have a bunch here that are almost the same color. That one's. I snipped off a leaf. Let's do some pink, some little pink dots in the middle of this one. Just little pink dots. And we're just we're just making it cute. And I may leave some of them blank so that when I decide I want to use them. Then I will add whatever colors I want in them to do. So, yeah. I wanted to show y'all. What happened to my bucket? There it is. These. Whoa. These are, uh, these are water-soluble oil pastel sticks. Okay. So they are an oil. They go on creamy like an oil pastel. Just like an oil pastel. Very creamy. And then you take paintbrush. This is the paintbrush that came with it. It's not a good paintbrush. And you just water soluble them now they're not as good as the neo classics that comes from i think they come from diane posh or pash or dash no karen karen d karen dash karen dash but these are fun for no more than they cost the only thing is you really need a better brush to get that blended all the way out and this is just not a good brush I have good brushes let's see that's a good stiff one I don't know if that'll work or not that's not a good brush the one I just said that's a good stiff one it's still not a good brush but I think a stiff brush would be the yeah the way to go but what I'm running into here is <laughs> I am getting it to do, but because these are watercolors, I'm scrubbing up my scrubbing up my thing. So the cuddle bug, the cuddle bug, it's made by Provo Utah Crafts, made in Provo Utah. It's called the cuddle bug. So let's see what just a Just an oil pastel, what it adds to one of my flowers. I got staples in this box. I didn't get them out. 
Let's let's go ahead and use just a, a yellow, a pink. Now I like oil pastels, but I will tell you something. I watched a gal do an oil pastel painting last night. I watched she. It was a two-parter. I watched both parts, and I kept thinking, when is she going to start blending this? Because when I use oil pastels. I take and just rub the fire out of them to make them look a whole lot of smoother. Uh, I've drawn some of my crazy hair, colored haired ladies with them in my art book in Yonder. And I rub them to make them look smooth. And she never did that at any point. She used a, a tool that she was like scratching off with scratching texture into them and I was like okay that's different I'm but you know I don't claim to know everything and I really just play with what I have I have all any kind of art supply you could just about think of I do like what that looks like though I do like that so you have a Shreve blender stick oh is that one of those linen ones I have two of those linen sticks that are like paper and you can blend with them I have two of them so and I like them very well guess what Jean my french fries are cold now <laughs> he brought them to me a while ago and they were hot when he brought them to me my son it's his birthday today and he's being really nice. I've done giving him his birthday money, so I don't know why he's being so nice. Tonight is Wednesday, and we eat dinner at church on Wednesday nights before our classes. And uh, they're actually, it's kind of funny, they're actually having his favorite, one of his favorite foods. You can hardly see that, but that's got why in it. It's just not quite pumpkin enough let's see here put this let's do this anyway but they're yeah they're having uh pulled pork sandwiches that's one of his favorite meals pulled pork sandwiches and chicken enchiladas are about his two favorite things unless he can go somewhere like unami and get grilled salmon he loves grilled salmon on cedar planks i tease him and tell him he has much more expensive taste than his parents do so i like that that's okay so we just keep just keep doodling and he's 30 years old i believe my son is 30 years old although in july on july the 11th dave will have his 60th birthday so i still have a ways to go i'm I'm behind him. I'm, I'll be 58 on my birthday in August. So, And if you've not been part of my channel for very long, we celebrate my birthday the whole month. The whole month of August, I will celebrate. Every Monday night during my sales, we will have special discounts for people, special prizes and stuff like that that we will do. And um, there will be extra free shipping given away. And, yeah, we will we will celebrate the whole month of August. So. Yep. We didn't celebrate our birthdays a lot as kids, of course. Uh. For us, Christmas was always our big celebration. We went to grannies and went to our grandmas and stuff like that. So Christmas was our big celebration. So we didn't do birthdays. In fact, I can't remember celebrating a birthday at all. <laughs> so, do I sell sorry fabric? No, I've never sold any of it. I use it sometimes when I get it, but I've never sold any of it. I do sell fabric, though, all kinds of fabric. In fact, if y'all want, I'll show y'all the fabric I bought yesterday. So, 
I'm getting tired of playing with these. So if y'all want to see the fabric I bought yesterday, I can show y'all that. I bought a bunch of stuff at doll at Savers. A whole bunch of stuff. So yes, Karen. Karen's all for the I mean Sharon is all for the fabric. I have an aunt named Sharon. Sharon K is her name. We'll just slide all of this out of the way. And I'm going to, here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise y'all back up because I need the extra room to show the fabric. There we go. Let's move that around. Uh-oh. I managed to put a glue stick up without a glue glue lid on it. Here we go. So, Now, if you've not been around, you don't, probably don't realize, one of the things I do when I get, especially when I get great big pieces, is I cut them in half, and I keep half for me, and I sell the other half. And this is a really pretty green suede. It is so pretty. And um, there is more, more than two yards here, so I will sell, I will sell, a yard of it in the next uh, next craft auction I have. I do a craft auction once a month. So I had said I probably wouldn't do one for June because I'm having that ablation done, but I may end up doing it because I'm building up a whole bunch of stuff. This is like a velvet, but it's a low nap velvet. Sharon Cash. So. Johnny Cash is from my state, Arkansas. <laughs> so, anyway. There you go. I got paint on me. But that's like a, a low nap velvet. And this one is a real small piece. So, I. It'll all go in, but it's cute little bears, little kids. And this one is real pretty. It's a nice size piece. I'm not sure. I didn't unfold it. It's got little threads all over it. I'm not sure why it's got little threads all over it. But it looks like it could be a second because it looks like a, a the dye print didn't print well across right here if you can see that see it looks like train tracks across it but it's a really pretty piece of fabric it's a collie cotton a poly cotton yeah a polyester and cotton blend it's not a hundred percent cotton it's got some give to it and jude i thought of you when i saw this one right here <laughs> he lives in arizona now wrong johnny cash huh so I'm talking about the wrong Johnny Cash. So, look. It's leprechaun hats. And it looks like a little leprechaun pipe. It's just a little bitty pea. It's about a quarter of a yard, maybe. I won't half that one, more than likely. I'm not sure this one will make it in the sale. It's so tiny. And it's just the perfect size for me to make a journal. I love that lemons. Isn't that pretty? That is so summery. So. I make junk journals. And then this is interesting. I don't know exactly what it is. But it's the perfect size for a journal. I will go ahead and include it in the sale. Because somebody else might want to make a journal. I got to get some of mine sold before I make a whole bunch more. But I'll probably have a couple more to go in. This is cute. Now these are cut into blocks. These are cut into like um, probably nine by nine blocks would be my guess. Let's see what we're looking at. No, 12 by 12. 
and it's they're little rabbits and they say think spring and there's one two three four five six seven of the blocks seven of the blocks and they're so cute now i think i could make a little journal out of this like um maybe this size let's see that's half it'll have it would have to be narrower more narrow although i actually could set, sew two of them together and make it i could sew two of them together and make it long enough to do so yeah i could do that and so just sew two of them together and make it make it big enough that would make a cute cute journal wouldn't it yeah probably so probably so And then this is interesting to me. This is a velvet with a design, and it says 2000 Millennium. <laughs> I think that's cool. I don't know if anybody will want that or not, but it'll go in the sale. It'll be fun. So, and Jude, Jude will probably remember this because I have sold one of these before. And let's put that green back in there move that i've sold one of these before that my mom went ahead and made and whoever bought it gave it back to me and told me to give it to one of my nieces one my great niece this is one of those fabric books it's noah's art and it has the story and it's already cut out and you it's put together and you sew and put batting in between it to make it a uh and it says shows you to leave this open for your turning and uh anyway this one was noah's ark i think the other one was um the story of jesus the birth of jesus anyway here's all your instructions that go with it tells how to do it all that so I found that and it was in one of the bags of crafty stuff so it's real cute and then at the back there's a page of questions to talk to your child about and then the back page so that's cool I enjoyed that yes the one that I done before was the nativity and it went to my niece Jocelyn my great niece Jossie so who if you can believe this now okay she is eight years old now <laughs> eight years old how did that happen gosh anyway I, I just can't believe she's that old so I'll put some of those in there and we will put leave out we'll put some of these blank ones in here I don't know if we decorated I just threw a little bitty one in the floor uh, I did find my little broom so I can sweep up my little floor I mean my floor actually I should bring my little vacuum cleaner in here and do it but I'm going to save out just a few of these smaller ones here. Oh, I like that one to decorate. And then I'm going to put a bunch of the blank ones in. And those. Oops. That one is. And I will be finished with those. Yeah. And they'll go in here in the drawer. Oh, I did. I know something else I got. Oh, I haven't done any of that size. We'll do a few this size. I know something else I got, and they're right here, and I'll show y'all <laughs> in that Timu order yesterday. 
I knew if we if we waited long enough, I would start remembering things. <laughs> Flutterbys, butterfly uh, stickers. Haven't even opened them. I don't know if they're shiny or if they're yeah they're shiny butterflies. Oops, butterflies. These are blue. These are blue. I was hoping they wouldn't be the shiny ones because I have a bunch of shiny ones already. However, they'll get used. They'll go in happy mails. They'll get used. And then <clears throat> I did the blue and the pinks, the mauves. So, you am. Cuckoo for Tim. Oh, for Timu. Yeah. Oh, you're nosing his pattern. Okay, Jude. Well, you go powder your nose. So, anyway. Yeah, I like Timu, too. <laughs> I ordered some stuff last night. Uh, I've ordered quite a bit of paints. Watercolor, gouache, some acrylic paints from them and a lot of paintbrushes a whole lot of paintbrushes and a lot of stamps uh, these little puppy dog stamps they came from Timu they're so cute anyway but yeah and that that die set came from Timu too and it was less than a dollar these watercolor pastels came from Timu now these old pastels came from savers so I don't know if you have savers in your area some places it's called Value Village, but uh, uh, they uh, it's a it's a great big thrift store that set up like a department store. It's almost dry enough to go in. Wait my for my paintbrushes to dry, so I'm gonna lay these out and do do them uh, mass decorating style. So that one's that one was an odd corner of a piece of paper. <sighs> Anyhow, we'll get we'll get some dots on these suckers. We'll do this color. Just do some dots, some circles. Decorate these up. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to go. I usually don't stay on here very long, this long. I usually try to just shoot for an hour. But, well, on Monday nights, I'm on at, I come on at 5 Central, and I stay on till 9. So, I'm on four hours then. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's to do my auctions. I do jewelry auctions. I sell jewelry. I bought jewelry yesterday, too, although... Monday night, I didn't even sell a fourth of what I had out. So, and we were here till 930. But I, I had, I got a huge lot in from Pennsylvania. My friend that is in Pennsylvania that sells jewelry. You have the blue ones. Um, my friend that's in Pennsylvania that buys jewelry and sends it to me. I buy, she buys it at auctions and I buy it from her. And so, uh, she sent me some really nice vintage things. And I had some real nice vintage pieces. Still have some real nice vintage pieces left. So, anyway, but, uh, yeah. I do. Usually, the last Monday night of the month is when I do my craft sale. And we do four hours, or we do until I finish. Because I gather up a lot of craft stuff. I make a lot of stuff that I sell. And then we sell what I have. And if I get done before 9, then we're done. But most of the time, it's usually about to at least 8.30. So, anyway. But I make up those, like, bags of stuff that I made. And then I have ephemera bags. And I always have a collection of journals. Because I have about, how many do I have right now? One, two, three four, five, six journals for sale that I've got to get sold so I can make some more. 
I started when I started making journals, I started making decorated ones. And then I get bogged down in that way bogged down because I want to add everything <laughs> to them. And so a couple of these would look nice in my fairy journal. The Oh, the one that I bought from y'all from you. Anyway, I get bogged down and try to decorate everything. And then they get four inches, five inches thick, like one of them is. And so I started making naked journals. And I can make a naked journal in about an hour and a half. And I love it. But I keep... I keep like my dyed papers, my coffee dyed papers and uh, my gel print papers and all that. I keep them on the ready, ready to go, to go in stuff like that. And then I have some ledger paper and I have vintage books that I cut out and, and I have music books that I cut music from. Anyway, so I have all of that, that it's just ready to go. And so I put those signatures together and get them in and away we go. So I love making the naked journals. And I, I've i sold more naked journals than I have any anything of my journals, my other ones. So there we go. That's pretty. But yeah, I do enjoy making journals. And I enjoy making ephemera. I like making stuff like this. Where's my buckets? I have so many boxes of things that are roaming around here that I'm working into. <laughs> So I watch Carrie. If you don't watch Carrie, you won't know what I'm talking about. I watched Carrie make some homemade tickets where he cut out the tickets. He scored them and all that on the board. And I did. I, I cut them out. And I watercolored over mine because the back of mine's were white. And I watercolored them. And then I decorated on top of them and made tickets. I may have put some in yours, but I can't remember anyway, and I just decorated them up. I, I don't remember what I put in things. People will email me and say, oh, thank you for sending me all the goodies, and I'm like, what did I send you? <laughs> I, I did. I'm going to send this to, uh, to Beth for her Power Woman journal. She has a Power Woman journal, and this this word it says power under there anyway i'm going to send that to beth i need to put it in an envelope and mail it so but yeah i enjoy making stuff like this i got a little tired the other day of decorating these but i need to finish up these i think i've got two more strips to finish yeah two more strips to finish kristen are you here oh hey tina how are you Kristen, I put one of these blank ones in your package for this week because I knew that you would uh, want to decorate it. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let's see. Somebody's messaging me. Anyway. Let me let me show you something. I found these in uh, these were in one of those craft bags I got yesterday. So you've got a United States Marines patch, and then I've got a Arkansas Air National Guard, uh, uh, 184 FS Arkansas. I don't know what that means, and then another Arkansas National Guard flying Razorbacks. That is cool. Anyway, I may ask Jared if he's interested in having that, but but anyway, I thought those were cool. I love I love patches. So hey Tammy, how are you? Anyway, so 
So I'm eating cold french fries. I've been decorating my little flowers that I cut out a whole bunch of. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm just, just doing my crafty thing, being artsy fartsy is what my mom calls me. So anyhow, guys, I have to tell y'all this story. So Monday night in the auction, I was talking about my new to me refrigerator messing up. Mm, we need to pull that up. No, we need to pull that down. Y'all do not want to look at a picture of my belly. There we go. Messing up and how then it started running again. I got off Monday night and went in there. The ice was melting. The ice was melting. I was so upset. We unplugged it, replugged it. It didn't start. All day yesterday, we messed with it. Jared pulled it out, vacuumed it out. I mean, he vacuumed everything that he could get to to vacuum. And still nothing. It didn't, still wouldn't come on. Sorry. I just swallowed air. We went to the store and got a bag of ice. And had it in bowls sitting in there just to help keep things cool. And um, the ice was melting fast. Anyway, I just happened to walk by and open the door to see if it had kicked on yet. And I noticed that on the dial for the temperature, there was a dial to turn it all the way off. And I turned it off and turned it back on and it came on. And it's been running ever since. And that was late last night. So just keeping an eye on it. See, we had battled with the same sort of thing with the old refrigerator for over a year. And like mom said, she said, you knew what to expect with that one. This one is new to you, so you don't know what to expect. I said, exactly. I was just about in tears yesterday. So over all that mess. So anyway and see we provide our own refrigerator the landlord provides the stove and dishwasher which the dishwasher is messed up right now but i i haven't even told him so i mean while i hate washing dishes the dishwasher is not it's not as vital as a refrigerator so i'm not worried about it i don't like that one i messed it up i don't like it Anyway, we will take the white. Where'd the white go? We'll do this white one and just go over that. So, yeah, I, my mom just turned 78 in in uh, May, and she's actually in real good health. She just had her hip replaced uh, in February, and at the end of February, and uh, she's doing real good. Um, she has a garden again this year. She had said she wasn't going to, and the physical therapist told her he didn't think she should. <laughs> I thought, dude, you just guaranteed the lady's having a garden. Anyway, she's got a garden, so, but, uh, uh, yeah. Um, my dad passed away. It's been five years since my dad passed away. Uh, he had AFib and heart problems and he had just, you know, he was just a few weeks from his 71st birthday when he passed away. Is that right? 72nd birthday. Anyway, but yeah, he's been gone for a while. So, well, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go and eat the rest of these silly cold french fries and that is my lunch for today i'll eat dinner at church tonight and uh, i'm gonna go and finish what i've got going here and i need to get my room straightened back up i'm i'm in a mess i've got things gathered all around me right here so that i can reach it but i'm in a mess so i will talk to you guys later and y'all have a good afternoon so Bye-bye.